November 4, Mike Lima Mike. Roger, roger, Mike Lima Mike. Whereabouts uh, are you located, sir? Whereabouts uh, are you located, sir? Uh, I'm in uh, Bedford, Virginia, uh, about five miles away from the D-Day Memorial, over. Roger, roger, and what's the name there? Roger, roger, and what's the name there? Uh, the name here is Jeff, Juliet Echo, Foxtrot, Foxtrot. We spoke a few weeks ago, and the band faded out on us and uh, never got a chance to reconnect. Not sure if you remember that, over. Uh, I have faded out of a few places. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, my middle name is Fade Out. <laughs> what's, uh, what's your radio you're running, Jeff? What's your radio you're running, Jeff? Uh, today I'm running an ICOM 7300 uh, going through an ALS 600 with a uh, portable vertical multi-band um, antenna uh, limited at 200 watts. So I'm only running about 190 watts with a uh, AT600 Pro, um, Pro Auto Tuner. Over. Roger. Now, I'm assuming that you have uh, a box somewhere between the antenna tuner and the uh, and the uh, radio to come up with that wattage. Radio to come up with that wattage. Uh, yes, I do. It's uh, set up as uh, the uh, linear am amplifier is, uh, and then into the auto tuner, um, out to the antenna. Over. Roger, Roger. Well, looking at your signal, uh, looks to be about a 3 dB dynamic range, which is exactly uh, what we're usually shooting for. And uh, your uh, equalization audio-wise is uh, sounds perfect. Are you using the uh, the, the uh, set uh, uh, mic hand mic that's uh, with the radio? With the radio? Uh, negative. Running an SM50, the Icom SM50 uh, microphone with a low cut. Yes, sir. Now, you might be running just a tad hot t t into your ALC. You might check your uh, ALC level. Uh, you'd be looking for mid-scale to two-thirds on your ALC, and you would get that by uh, adjusting your mic uh, level control. Roger. Roger. Now, are you running a three on the compressor? Check to be sure you're running a three on the compressor, Roger. Three on the compressor, Roger. Roger that. I'm running a three on the compressor. Um, my gain has turned up just a tad bit. Uh, maybe that's where I can make some modification. Over. Roger. It does sound uh, kind of up against the wall, like uh, you're squeezing a little too hard uh, somewhere. You know, usually in our setup, we prescribe that we start with a... Uh, a 3 out of 10 on the compressor, a 30 out of 100, depending on how it's uh, laid out there, about a third of the capabilities of the compressor, and then we move to the AOC, and uh, with mic gain in hand, we adjust the AOC for mid-scale to two-thirds. Now, uh, the uh, I'm assuming that's a desk mic that you have. Does it have uh, any uh, processing in it? Okay, what uh, what setting is your uh, internal mic gain set at? Internal mic gain set at? It is currently at 60%, over. Uh, try pulling that down to uh, 50. Uh, let's, uh, let's see what's going on. It, it may be that you are maybe hot into your front end, but it, uh, pull your mic gain down to about 50, and let's see where the distortion goes. Yeah, let's see where the distortion goes. Okay, I've brought the uh, mic gain down to the... 50%, uh, ALC is still at mid-range, um, compression is still at 3, um, or 30%, as you would say, and uh, a 1.3 SWR coming out, over. Roger. Now, I'm hearing a little mouth noise, so maybe we can kill two birds with one stone. If you uh, back up about uh, uh, two inches uh, from the microphone, let's see what that does. up two inches from the microphone and speaking in the normal tone and uh, seeing how my copy comes through on this transmission. Over. Roger, a lot cleaner, a lot cleaner. You're still uh, 3 dB, 
dynamic range. So, uh, you know, you have the, all of the punch there. It's just that before, before it tended to blur because you were much in excess of uh, 3 dB dynamic range. So I, I found, uh, you know, that's why we set up our radios the way we do with the 3 dB dynamic range because you need some dynamics to perceive what the words are. If, uh, you know, obviously a half a dB of dynamic range would be a louder signal, but it would, there would be no dynamics in there to uh, try to identify the words, and they would be all just uh, very blurry, Roger. So we tried to uh, put in, uh, you know, a 3 dB dynamic range, which gives you an 80 to 85 percent of peak modulation, which is a very loud signal, Roger. Which is a very loud signal, Roger. Roger that, Roger that. So I'm uh, going to uh, adjust the gain back to the 60 now that I'm speaking a little further back from the microphone. And uh, you tell me if I've had any improvement. I am now at 60% on the mic gain um, to see if that has made any uh, improvements. Over. Uh, only in distortion, uh, n no improvement. Uh, like I say, you need that uh, that 3 dB of dynamic range. Uh, uh, you know, we found that uh, you know when you close that down to less than 3 dB, the intelligibility uh, becomes a factor. And also, uh, in a lot of radios, uh, the distortion uh, increases as because what you're actually doing is uh, you wind up uh, pushing the limiter. See the. Um, the um, ALC is looking at the output of the limiter. Uh, when you adjust that level, that level is the uh, actually the input to the limiter. So when you start forcing that, you start forcing the limiter. And usually, uh, I have found that limiters uh, tend to fall apart when you exceed uh, a very shallow amount of uh, dB. It's usually about 3 to 4 dB. If you push past 3 or 4 dB, uh, a limiter, because it is extremely fast in uh, attack and release time, uh, it'll be pushed to, to keep from being distorted. Now, you know, the difference, obviously, between a compressor and a limiter is the attack and release time. A compressor is a very slow attack, very slow release time, and you can force that booger into a 20 dB dynamic range a fluctuation with with no problem if you wanted to do that but like I say the limiter is another story and you don't want to force that limiter too much or you will wind up in distortion so that's why I'm saying while while your signal remains the same although you 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 goose the <laughs> the volume of uh, your mic up what's happening is you're just uh, uh, that limiter is stonewalling it and then uh, breaking into distortion so I would pull it back where we had it there I think it was a about a 40 or something? About a 40 or something? Uh, negative. It was at uh, 50, but I can uh, bring that back to 40 and see if that makes any improvement. I wanted to, why don't you uh, count to uh, to 10. Uh, I'll tell you what, why don't you give me 10 seconds or 15 on your, um, on your antenna setup, and let me look around and see if I can find a, a better path for us. Uh, I'll try my local antenna. I'd rather... Uh, have my local uh, radio than uh, the SDRs, but uh, you know, uh, push come to shove, and I don't have anything on my local antenna, I'll take an SDR. So, yeah, if you would just give me about 10 or 15 seconds uh, and describe your antenna setup, and I'll look around. Up, and I'll look around. The side of a pole building. I'm it is a portable vertical with loaded radials, nothing on the ground, over. All right, yeah, I've got a little bit of you on my local antenna there. Uh, you look to be about maybe uh, 7 dB over my noise level, which is a pretty good signal. Now, what I want you to do is, um, you know, I guess you're down around uh, 40 on your mic gain, Roger? All right, so what I want you to do is give me a count and uh, say uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 at 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 at 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 at 60, and let me hear you uh, go through those. Roger that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 at 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 at 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 at 60, over. Roger. I would take, I would do 45. I would do 45 and, and look at your ALC and see what that's, what that says at 45. Roger, Roger. Roger. And your, uh, your, uh, compressor is at a three, Roger. 
All right, uh, let me uh, see if I can bring uh, Milford back up. Milford has uh, kicked me off, so uh, I'll have to um, see if I can bring her back. Uh, and uh, this, uh, this is where I had the best copy on you. And uh, so I'll get Milford back up and um, uh, let's see here. Okay, Milford is back up. Uh, let me hear, uh, come back to me, talk to me for a minute. The same thing that happened to us last time. Milford uh, went down, and uh, you were able to pick me up on Georgia. So as you're listening back and forth to see which one I'm coming through better, I'm still at 45% uh, on the mic gain, compression at 3, and uh, ALC just below mid-range, Trevor. Roger, I think that sounds pretty good. Now, uh, I would suggest maybe uh, getting a, a, a foam windscreen for your microphone. Um, th I think that would uh, cut out some of your, um, uh, you know, other things other than uh, words, Roger. that I wonder if uh, spinning the uh, microphone a little bit more than a 45 degree angle might uh, improve that but I will uh, look into getting a windscreen over yes I think that's uh, perfect right there I think you're in good shape right there I would uh, I would run that and see who salutes Roger that. Well, I really appreciate your time, Jim, and uh, looking forward to hearing what I sound like on the other end. Over. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, uh, what is your... Do you know where your tone control is? Do you know where your tone control is? Are you, let's see, in the uh, equalizer section, or what are you speaking when you talk about tone? Right. Uh, well, the 7300 refers to EQ as tone. So, uh, yes, transmit uh, tone, transmit EQ. Yes, I am uh, at that now, and uh, my treble is currently at a plus three. Uh, it looks like on a scale of uh, one to five, and uh, bass is at zero. Over. Roger. Uh, punch uh, one more click in there on the top end. One more click for old time's sake and see what we got here. Four, over. Uh, right, sounds good. Yeah, get your windscreen and you'll be perfect. Yeah, get your windscreen and you'll be perfect. Roger that, roger that. Really appreciate the help. Uh, look, like I said, looking forward to hearing me on the other end, and uh, conditions seem to be improving here. It's been uh, raining pretty hard, over. Oh, roger, roger. Uh, how much rain have you had? Uh, Most of the day, uh, coming down uh, rather, um, you know, rather moderate right now. It's not downpouring or a storm, but it's pretty moderate. Um, hear it pretty loudly in the building. Over. Oh, Roger. Now, uh, just uh, let me see if I understand about your amplifier. You are cranking way back on your drive uh, to uh, uh, get your amplifier to 200 watts. Is that a Roger? about 24 watts into it uh, to get out about 180, 190 watts uh, forward. Roger. Well, <laughs> it um, almost isn't isn't worth now, just, just my personal opinion, you know. Uh, to go from uh, 100 to 200 watts is uh, maybe something happened, you know. Uh, what you really want to do is try to, to make jumps of, uh, uh, say, uh, from 100 to, to 500, you know. That, that is uh, a substantial and noticeable increase. If you just go from 100 to 200, it's, it's uh, not quite, uh, you know, going to make a, a large difference, Roger. Roger that. Uh, we can uh, do a quick test. Uh, I can uh, go uh, bypass the amplifier and go to 100 watts out of the radio and see if there's any difference. Over. Uh, let's see here. Uh, da, da, da. I'm trying to figure out how you can do that in a 10 count. Uh, you would have to uh, kill your standby and uh, increase your radio output to max uh, during the standby. So if you could count to 10 and uh, going from 5 to 6 uh, kill your standby and advance your radio uh, output to max and uh, continue counting to 10, Roger. And uh, continue counting to 10, Roger. Uh, roger that. I 
I will uh, go ahead and count to 10. I will turn off the standby, and uh, that will drop down, drop me down to 25 watts and increase to 100. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I am now at 100 watts directly out of the radio. Over. And you made a shift at uh, between 5 and 6? made the shift uh, right after uh, two. Over. <laughs> well, you know, I got to know where you're making the shift because I need to look at, be looking specifically at the shift point. So let's do this again. <laughs> and uh, count to 10. And uh, come, uh, let's see here. Go ahead and bring your amp on. Get, the, get your power set there. And uh, start your count at, uh, you know, one and go to, go to, to five and between five and six I want you to uh, dump the amp and c uh, come up full uh, max out on the uh, radio output max out on the uh, radio output uh, roger that I will uh, redo the uh, process so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and you made the shift between five and six? And you made the shift between five and six? I did. I may have lagged over the six just a tad bit, but uh, got as close to in between five and six as possible. Roger, Roger. Well, uh, you know, when you uh, check out the uh, tape, uh, you'll see what I mean about uh, not uh, a drastic increase uh, between the one and the other. Uh, you know, and uh, this will be a proof for you to to uh, to listen to this and see uh, the difference. Now, what I want you to do is uh, uh, turn off your uh, amp and just be on your 100 watt radio max. You know, at 100 watts, Roger. You know, at 100 watts, Roger. Roger that. That's, uh, I'm pushing 100 watts right out of the 7300 and bypassing the amp. Over. Yes, Roger, Roger. I think I, I couldn't really tell a difference between the two. And uh, uh, I'm on uh, Milford. So Milford does run a little bit of uh, compression in their audio. So I would have loved to have done that more on my uh, local antenna because my local radio is. Uh, uh, operating below uh, AGC compression in the receive mode and it doesn't suck up uh, between words and stuff like that and it would have been probably more accurate but I didn't hear uh, necessarily uh, an increase in uh, in uh, uh, background noise so I, all things being equal in the creeks don't rise uh, I think it's a probably fairly accurate uh, uh, rendition and recording so uh, anyway if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor followed by today's date 92520 that will take you to our QSO vlog page and the 92520 will should take you directly to this recording this recording is uh, identified is Mike Group Air Check 92520. So when you go to YouTube and do that call at a search, followed by, uh, uh, you know, KC9VKV, followed by the date 92520, it should take you right to this recording. Roger? It should take you right to this recording. Roger? Roger that. Roger that. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, and uh, so uh, it's been wonderful talking with you again, Jim, and I've uh, been uh, looking through some of your YouTube videos and uh, for all those listening, I strongly encourage you to uh, look through them. He's uh, quite the man on the radio. Over. Well, thank you so very much, Jeff. I appreciate that, sir. Uh, it's hard to believe that uh, our QSO Vlog uh, segment uh, started off as uh, kind of uh, wag the dog's tail because we did have an extensive uh, uh, repertoire of uh, stuff from a 50-year broadcast career, uh, and probably about 800 or so uh, QSO, uh, not QSO, but uh, uh, segments in the uh, Jim Ferguson's radio story. But now uh, our QSO v like uh, uh, segment has taken into uh, 1,300 uh, recorded QSO v like so it's uh, it's now uh, <laughs> wagging the do dog's tail of the other one. Roger. The do dog's tail of the other one. Roger.
<laughs> Roger that. Well, you're doing an amazing job. And so uh, we'll go ahead and call this uh, 73s and let some others uh, get some assistance from the professional. Um, so uh, KC9 VKV from KN4 MLM. Appreciate everything. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, keep that. Keep all those uh, controls exactly like they are because uh, I think you're you're just perfect. Uh, couldn't uh, improve on that. Uh, three is out of way. This is KC9 VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG net. If you've got a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.